Hey everyone, this is Stevie here, and today we are going to be looking at lofting. Now, I know I, I have shown a lofting before, but this time we're going to be focusing on like how we can actually use center lines in lofting and, and how it can be b very beneficial, really. So let's say you wanted to make like a, a tube that goes like, I don't know, kind of like an M shape, really. Uh, but like, that's pretty difficult to actually achieve. Um, doing it normally like it, it would be very difficult to actually draw that so what we're going to do is loft it and doing lofts I, I know you you've, you're probably familiar with lofting by just making a couple different sketches um, so like basically constructing an offset plane from here dragging it out drawing a different shape and then lofting those two together and you're thinking well how could we actually do a like an M shape with this without it being super complicated. See, that's that's probably what you're typically used to with lofting. Now, what we're going to do is actually use something called the center line. So let's open a new tab here. We'll create a sketch on this face, and or the, this plane, my bad. And I'm going to go kind of make like a, an M shape, really. Here, and it's not really scientific. I'm just kind of, just want it to be a little bit like a num, but oh well, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna draw this out real quick. Good. So that's not perfect by any means. Um, we can make these two equal real quick, and we can make these two equal, which they already are. Well, guess not. Um, but now you can see that it looks more like an M. So let's go and fill it these corners, make them a lot. Sh well, a lot nicer because it, we don't want to have like a super sharp looking object. I don't think it'll even loft like that. Uh, so we're going to go and just fill out these real quick. And just whatever it tells us. <laughs> well, why wouldn't it make those two radiuses the same? Maybe that's why. Interesting. Um, but anyway, that looks close enough, right? So let's finish our sketch here. Now we have our basic outline. Oh, that's not centered, that's why. We're going to draw uh, the circles that are actually going to connect. So you can see here that's one dot, that end, this, so that's one end, and this is one end. So I'm going to draw, let's do a five millimeter. Actually, that's really tiny, so let's go to 10. We'll do a 10 millimeter diameter circle on both. And you'll see I won't be able to actually select that dot. So what I'm going to have to do is hit P for project and then select it so that we, we can actually reference this and use it in our sketch. So now we're going to hit finish sketch. Oh, we went upside down. So now what we want to do is we want to go to loft here. Click this one. If I can get the profile right. Unfortunately, that's not going to be it. So we're going to go to loft one more time. Select here and then select this too. Now it's not even going to do anything because it would cross over itself and see it would it's going to give us an error. So what we're going to do is select center line and then choose our little M shape. And just like that our <laughs> it's so lopsided looking at it now. Um just like that our loft goes all the way through that center line keeping a uniform diameter the entire way through. Now that's super useful because it allows us to make lofts that are even more difficult than we could uh, think that we could previously do. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below what you'd like to see next, and we'll see you in the next video.